If you ever see this on your backyard, ask for help to remove it. If you ask someone, what are you afraid of? You're likely to hear something like snakes, spiders, or bugs as an answer. No one would really say, mm, that white flower that grows in my backyard. Why would you fear it? Well, because it can be as dangerous as a snake, if not more threatening to your life. Yes, there are some rather widespread fungi and plants that can kill you. Some of them look like they come straight out of hell, which makes them quite unappealing, so you will unlikely want to touch them. But some of them actually look more normal or even adorable, and they might be even more dangerous to you and your family. Brightside has got it covered. Here's a list of 12 super dangerous fungi and plants that might grow in your backyard. Promise you will not touch any of them if you see them, but will ask for help to remove them. Your safety matters, agreed? Alright then, give this video a like and pay attention to what you are about to see on this list. Counting down, number 12, Death Cap. Do you like mushrooms? They make a fine steak sauce and more. And have you ever gone mushroom hunting? It's a popular hobby among those who live in the north of Europe and Russia. Mushrooms might be easy to find, and many of them even grow along the roads or on trees in your backyard. Some of them are yummy, and some of them can kill you. Whoa! For example, this beauty, the death cap. It is the deadliest of them all! It does not come with a name tag and is easy to confuse with edible straw mushrooms and Caesar's mushrooms. It can be found in different parts of Europe. The amatoxins in it are so potent, even high temperatures can't kill them. So even if it is properly cooked, it will still damage human cells if someone eats it. Vomiting, bloody diarrhea, and unbearable abdominal pain await those who taste it. It results in liver, kidneys, and central nervous system damage. Your blood sugar level will go down, and your body will produce less urine. What happens next? Coma and very likely death. Jeez! Deathcap killed Pope Clement VII in 1534, and probably Roman Emperor Claudius in 45 CE. Number 11. Canosi Phalaris Canosibe phalaris might look cute and innocent, but can cause death or severe pain. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, you have most likely seen it growing in the lawns. Looking at it won't hurt, but what if someone decided to cook it for dinner? It is better to be safe than sorry. Canosibe phalaris has the same mycotoxins as the death cap. It takes a while for it to start damaging your body. Those who eat it will feel the symptoms of food poisoning or the stomach flu 6 to 24 hours after the mushroom meal. It might be tricky for the doctors to understand what caused the symptoms immediately, and even if they are treated properly, they might come back. Liver and kidney failure is also a likely result of Canosi phalaris poisoning. Number 10. Destroying Angels these fungi look innocently white and just like the edible button and meadow mushrooms. However, this mushroom abundantly growing in North America is super toxic and not exactly edible. Convulsions, diarrhea, vomiting, liver and kidney failure, and even delirium may happen 5 to 24 hours after consumption, often leading to death. They belong to the genus Amanita. Amanita muscaria is probably the most famous bad mushroom with a red cap and white dots on it. Now, we've seen some mushrooms which look okay but are fatally dangerous for you. Now it's time to see one fungus so terrifying it could be a feature in horror movies. <laughs> Number 9. Clathrus archiri. Clathrus archiri looks like it was sent from outer space to destroy the humankind. Or straight out of hell to remind us to be nice people. In fact, that thing is more than real and terrestrial. Where does it come from? We'll give you a hint. 
This country and continent, at the same time, is home to many scary species, and also kangaroo and Hugh Jackman. Yes, it comes from Australia. Did you get it right? Give this video a like to let us know. It is also called the Devil's Fingers, or the Sting Kern, and, unfortunately, spread to Europe and North America as well. Some people believe it traveled with military supplies from World War I in spores, and so was first spotted in Europe in 1914. That demon-like creature has four tentacles covered with viscid fabric. It smells so strong it attracts flies from afar. And kills them, you thought. In fact, it is smarter than that. It does not kill them, but contaminates them to spread its spores. Clathrus archiri is not alone. Its close relative, Ruber clathrus, expands in a scary-looking ball. And Pseudocolus fusiformis looks like a killer squid. Speaking of killer, what's up with all this Latin? Anyway, if you see this monster in your backyard, you should not try to get rid of it yourself, but ask for help to remove it for good. See, it spreads so quickly with its spores, it can contaminate your entire garden and give it a putrid smell. That's not what you want around your house, right? Number 8. Devil's Claw Another of nature's creation which makes us tremble with fear and wants to take over the world, or at least your garden. Devil's claws come from Arizona and are even used for basket weaving by Native Americans. What? These people have no fear. The scary-looking seed pods cling on to animals' feet and travel place to place. Once they are crushed, the seeds are set free and ready to grow at a new location. So be careful with those! By the way, if you want to see more discoveries and exotic places you've probably never visited, check out the Jungle Diaries channel. We've just recently come across this channel, and all we can say is that it's amazing! Its host, Phil Torres, is a huge fan of adventures, just like all of us, right? So, do not miss the chance to discover the world with him. Okay, now, back to our list. Number 7. Bloody Tooth This fungus looks like it has killed a few victims already and is covered in their blood. And it smells like fresh strawberries. Uh-oh, nature likes to play its tricks on us sometimes. Bloody Tooth has a scientific name as well. Somehow, Hydalenum pecky sounds less suitable for it than Bloody Tooth, though. It likes to live in forests and mountains of North America, Europe, Iran, and South Korea. When it's young and actively growing, it literally bleeds life out of its pores. You can see the scary result. If you fear nothing and decide to taste it, don't. It is poisonous and will do you no good. Number 6. Porcupine Tomato This beast may have a funny name, but it doesn't get any less powerful or dangerous even when people laugh at it. It comes from Madagascar, but is not even remotely as cute as the lemurs we all love. It can grow 8 feet tall and 8 feet wide in no time. It spreads quickly, and its claws are sharp as razors and highly toxic. So beware and ask for help if you see it somewhere near you. Coming up next, Fraxinella, which is not at all an Italian sort of ice cream, death camas, and a plant, which looks directly into your soul before killing you. Number 5. Fraxinella Fraxinella, also known as burning bush, dittany, and gas plant, thrives in the warm climate of southern Europe, North Africa, and most of Asia. 16 to 39 inches tall and looking sweet and innocent, it is hiding its killer nature behind the little flowers. You can touch and not feel anything, but after a day, you will see and feel the burns and bubbles, which will make you feel weak and hot. Fraxinella could be used in the Hunger Games as a powerful torturer. Hey, Katniss, try this. Okay. Wow, no sequel. And number 4. Giant Hogweed 
giant hogweed comes from the Caucasus mountain region between the Black and Caspian Seas. It came to Europe in the late 19th century, and a few decades later became widespread in America as well. It loves the light and moist soil, so it mostly grows by the streams and rivers and in fields. It spreads quickly and needs no care, so at some point it became a popular ornamental plant. What is so dangerous about it? Well, if you touch its sap, it can severely irritate your skin and eyes, give you permanent scars, and even make you blind. Word to the wise, if you see it next to your house, do not touch it. It has to be removed by professionals. Number 3. Death Camas These cute little white flowers might look like a great addition to a summer flower composition. However, if you see them growing in the field or your backyard, do not bring them home. In fact, do not touch them at all. Their name suggests nothing good. Part of the plant from the stem to its flowers are poisoned with zycazine. The Lewis and Clark expedition reported to have found them in the western United States, and Native Americans have poisoned some Mormon settlers in Utah using them. Death camas have bulbs, which look like onion bulbs, and if you ever confuse them with onions and eat some, vomiting, diarrhea, general weakness, and even coma will follow. My my. Number 2. Oleander If you have traveled to the Mediterranean region or pretty much anywhere in the subtropics, you most definitely have a picture of this pink beauty. A fully blooming tree. How beautiful! Sometimes beauty kills, and that is just the case. The toxics in it are so powerful, even honey made by bees that pollinated its flowers can kill or seriously hurt people. Its leaves and sap can irritate and damage your skin. And number 1. Doll's Eye These eyes of an extraterrestrial monster are looking right into your soul. Or maybe that monster has killed a few innocent victims already and tied their eyes in a knot. Yow! Those bane berries might have a more terrestrial origin, but one thing is true for sure. The entire plant contains cardiogenic toxins. If you dare to eat them, they will immediately affect your cardiac muscle tissue and very likely kill you. If you think doll's eye is something you are never going to meet, you are wrong. It is native to eastern North America and still lives in Canada, the Midwest, and the eastern states. Well, we hope you never get to encounter any of these things, but if that happens, you know what you should do, right? Like this video as a promise to keep yourself out of trouble. And subscribe to our channel not to miss any updates.